Hello, welcome to this AASL Learn to Tweak course for AASL Leadership. I'm Jane Lofton, and I suggested this course to AASL primarily as a way to get more people using Twitter as part of their personal learning networks. And since it's also a great tool to use during conferences, we timed it to get people up and running as effective tweeters during the upcoming ALA conference next month in San Francisco. Just as an FYI, I initially designed a similar course for California School Library Association members that ran before um, our annual conference this past February. As a result, we not only increased the tweeters at our conference, we also built a great cohort network of course participants. By me, Twitter is one of the very, very best social media tools for professional learning. It can also be used with students in a variety of great ways for learning about news, doing research, and more. But this course is really going to focus um, primarily on getting you up and going on using it effectively for your professional learning. Um, some of you taking the course probably already have Twitter accounts and just want to improve your use of it, while others don't yet have a Twitter account. So I'm going to be starting right at the beginning for those of you without an account. I hope those with an account will bear with me while I go through the basics. But don't worry, we'll get on with material that applies to everyone very, very soon. So starting at the very beginning, what is Twitter? Twitter is an online social media network and microblogging service. Users send and receive tweets either on computers or mobile devices. It's considered a microblogging service because tweets are restricted to 140 characters in maximum length. That means that you as a tweeter have to be extremely concise in what you write, and that you as a tweet reader can get through browsing lots of tweets in a short amount of time. Twitter does tend to have a bad rep with people who don't understand it. They think that celebrities and non-celebrities alike use it to post stuff like what you had for breakfast. And truth be told, that is how some people use it. Sadly, um, in my early days of tweeting, I was so excited to see some of my rock star authors on Twitter and so excited to follow them, and then disappointed um, to find some surprisingly mundane posts about their daily routines. and. Some of those authors I stopped following. But Twitter really is about how you use it and who you follow. And used in a savvy way, it can connect you with other school library people, teachers, authors, experts in any field, and more in a global community that will enhance your learning and skills, improve your lessons and practice, and help you help your teachers and students connect with experts. It's also a way to have a lot of fun sometimes. And now I want to share a bit about how this class will be organized. While I'm recording this video to introduce myself to you so that you can see and hear me, I mostly will be giving text instructions for activities. Um, my suggestion is to spread the activities for each week over, um, over the week so that you don't have too much in any one sitting. And really, the best way to use Twitter is generally in small, regular spurts. Do, though, make a commitment to yourself, please, to complete each activity for that week before Sunday night so that you'll be ready for the next week, Monday morning. So what's next? Please read the week one information and assignment and be sure to get in touch with me if you have any questions. Um, do please use the, the course discussion forum for any questions or comments that others would want to know about rather than email, but feel free to get in touch with me directly um, if you have any individual questions or comments. And thank you so much for participating. I'm really excited about doing this. I'm looking forward to getting to meet all of you online through Twitter, and I really appreciate your signing up. So let's get going on Twitter. Thanks.